hi everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is zoe i do a lot of beauty content on this channel with occasional vlogs chucked in please excuse the background we're drying stuff um and also you join me on my floor because today is part two of my makeup declutter if you didn't see the first part it was up last night um it is it was my primers setting sprays foundations concealers mascaras brow stuff and powders um we're gonna do the rest of it today which is my bronzers blushes highlighters and lipsticks um if i did this all in one video it would be about an hour and a half long um but yeah, so I'll kind of explain again in this video if you haven't seen the other video. Um, I keep pulling out drawers from my drawers behind me. There's six drawers in total for my makeup in this drawer set. And the bottom two are hair care, like, like styling and stuff, which I leave, I'm going to leave alone. Everything that's in those drawers can stay at the moment. Um, maybe I'll sort through them and the bits under my bed in another video uh, maybe i'll film that again maybe i'll film that um another day um so everything that's in there we're decluttering um i am then putting anything that i don't want is rubbish can go somewhere else in the azza bag it's already like a lot full um we're getting rid of a lot so far um and i'll go through this another day and anything that i think i might still want to use which i don't know to be fair i might keep it give it like another few months or another like month or two um and if i don't use it i'll get rid of it i also in this bag had some um revolution stuff that we're sorting out and putting in as we're going along so i might say oh, i've got this revolution thing and put that in um i do actually have a few revolution bits to go back in still um i also had some new in bits which i kind of abandoned ship and didn't put them in <laughs> But we'll go through those at the end and put them in the right drawers. Um, so right now we have got bronzers in my drawer. Bronzers had its own drawer. I don't know why. I should have done like a cream drawer and a powder drawer for everything. Maybe I'll sort of do that another time. And do like one lot of drawers with creams. Another lot of drawers with powders for both bronzers and everything. But currently my bronzers have their own drawer. And then blush, blushes and highlights have another drawer. I don't know why either. Um, first off, we have some number seven wipes. I hate these ones. These were free. They're going in the bin. I do not like them at all. I yeah, they're horrible. They're like I use makeup wipes to like take stuff off the back of my hand and swatches and like the stuff off my lips and stuff when I'm doing videos. So. I hated these. These like disintegrated on me. Like I didn't like them. So we have got, oh, we've got a random bloody eyeshadow palette in here. <sighs> I forgot that was in there. That can go in the thing under my bed. Um, so yeah, we've got some bronzers and we have a random hourglass brush, which I think came with a blush that I'll tell you about in a bit. Um, I think I kept this just in case I wanted it for something, but I don't I don't know. We've just we just kept it. They gave it to me for free in like a depop order. We'll keep that. Um so we have got and I need to actually take a picture of this. The L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear matte bronzer. Such a lovely bronzer. However, my dumb ass um smashed it on the floor and haven't replaced it since. Um, but I might do a super drug, I might go into super drug um, this month and go and have a browse, go and pick up some bits. There are some bits that I would like, so I might go and get another one of those. Another one of the Revlon brow gels that I said about in the last video. We have got the um, Pink Honey BFF Bronzing Face Frosting in the shade Milky Mocha. I love this. I got this over at Christmas time. I, I do love it, I really do. Um, this one can go. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand in the shade Fair Medium. In what world, Charlotte Tilbury, does this look fair medium? Also, I just don't like it. I just don't. I'm decluttering the, um, like, how is that? How? How is that fair? Oh, I need a new wipe. My wipe's, like, gone a bit weird. Um... 
I just don't... I just don't like the Charlotte Tilbury, like, liquid formula. Apart from the highlighter, which out of the, the highlighter blush and bronzer that I have, I use the highlighter more, but it's in my project pan, and I do love that, and I use it a lot, actually. Um, a lot more than I thought I would. <laughs> but there's that. We have the Charlotte Tilbury um, Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer in the shade 1. I got this for my birthday last year. Like, I got it for myself for my birthday. And I actually really like this. This colour, a bit better. A bit better. Um, I need to pull that out again. I actually really like, enjoy that. And then we also have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the shade 2. When I got this, I got this when I was in Cambridge a couple years ago with my friend. Um, I think back in 2020 actually now. So this is a bit old. Uh, yeah, 2020. Um, the woman said that shade 1 was pretty much my skin tone it looked like a powder for my skin tone so there was no point in getting that so i got number two which to be fair it's a really nice bronzer shade for my skin whoa it goes disco um i just need to pull this out a bit more like i just i need to pull it out maybe next month in my shop my stash i'll be like zoe pull this out please it's huge as well like pff, bloody hell We've got the Kiko Unexpected Paradise Bronzer in the shade number one. This is years old now. Still smells like it did when I got it. I got this again in Cambridge, I think, because they had a Kiko shop in Cambridge. So I bought stuff. This is just, I this I think this needs to go. I think this is time it needs to go. It's too big. As, well, it's not too big. It's, it's quite big. Also, I don't reach for this and it's, old now i think i would like to get a replacement for it i do like this i along with the highlighter that i got which you'll see later in the video i got at the same time from the same collection they're old i need to replace them if i still want them so actually i'm going to take a picture of this as well and then at some point maybe i'll get myself another one so if i just take a picture of it and i'll get rid of this it's a bit old now milani sunlight silky matte bronzing powder in the shade one one of my favorite bronzers i love it it's very pale pale people friendly beautiful formula it's just lovely this was pulled into my shop my stash last month and i didn't actually wear makeup other than the revolution video last month so i didn't actually use this but i do think i like this like from what i remember i like it and the shade's a nice color like I'm having a hard time with the bronzers trying to declutter stuff. I don't think I'm going to declutter anything. I'm not going to lie. Oh, well, apart from, yeah. Patrick Tarr, um, She's Statuesque Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. I do really like this. It's got a cream, like, contoury kind of a colour. Although it is kind of like a bronzer, but... Well, yeah, it looks like a contour, but it actually is a bronzer. Um, and then it's got a powder bronzer. I do really like this. If I was to go somewhere, oh, I've got a hair in it. Lovely. Oh, I've got multiple hairs. Great. Get out. I can't get it out without like swatching the colour. Get out. Come on. Oh, I've got a hair stuck. It's not coming out. It's just fun. There we go. Got it out. Well, there's more. There's multiple. There's multiple of my hairs in here. That's helpful. <laughs> we'll just keep them in there um if i was to go somewhere like go places maybe if i was trying to save space i would take this because these two are really lovely um they work well together um as you'd think they're from the same brand the same little kit and i do really like these um so and i like the fact that this has got a protector on it and you can lift up the protector and just use the powder um i do actually really like that i would i do use it um the um matchstick soft amber from fenty now i quite like this but i just i don't reach for it anymore and i think it's a bit dry and a bit old so i think i should get rid of it so i am sorry all right it's a nice shade i think it's just a bit too pale for me like that looks like a bit like my skin tone one of my favorite powder bronzers is the Too faced milk chocolate soleil bronzer i love this Surprising how many years I've had this. It smells really good still. Divine. Divine. And then Hula Light. We keep this as well. This is a nice fair person bronzer. 
um so we'll keep that and then we've got a couple of revolution ones um we've got the revolution ultra cream bronzer um i really like this this needs a bit of a clean up this looks a bit grim um i really like this this is staying and something that's not staying though and if you watch my revolution video you know why the revolution pro goddess glow cream contour and bronze in the shade light this looks strange on me like it just it's such a strange color like compared to the rest of the like rest of the bronzers i have this is a strange color like i don't understand i can't quite think i think it's really orangey i think that's what it is i just don't like it and then the Revolution Bronzer Reloaded in Holiday Romance. We're going to keep this for a while. This doesn't have much pigment to it. But like it, it gives a nice glow. So like something over a cream. This would be really lovely. So I'm just going to put everything back. See why do I need a whole drawer for this? This is what I don't understand. Maybe I should start putting my face palettes in this drawer. Like I don't have many. They don't fit. They're only my hourglass ones. And then this one from Revolution, which is the Roxy palette. Like, just put I should just put all my face palettes in there rather than every all my eyeshadow palettes and everything under the bed. But yeah, that's the bronzer drawer. So let's move on to blushes and highlights, which is gonna take me a while. I had to lay the Charlotte Tilbury products in like down individually, so that's probably why I haven't put palettes in there. This is a monstrosity. And there's still more to go in. Zoe, what is wrong with you? I genuinely have no idea. And it was at one point under control. It's not under control anymore. Let's just pick out products I actually use, shall we? Uh, Made by Mitchell. They can all stay. I love Made by Mitchell's formula. It's a lovely formula. I have the shade Toasted Terracotta and Peach Sugar. Peach Sugar is my first one. Uh, we have Very Berry, which is a lovely autumn berry shade. We have Posy Rosy and Pink Links, which work well together. This is actually a blush light, the Pink Links, but they work very lovely together. And then we have Papaya Pudding. You could say that Peach Sugar Toasted Terracotta and Papaya Pudding look similar. You'd be correct. <laughs> but I love them all, and I, I use them all, so... We ain't getting rid of those anytime soon. We've got some from Sheen. Now, I think I'm going to get rid of my Sheen ones. I do really like them. They're a lovely formula. I reach for my blushes more. Um, and also, these, I think, I think definitely Devoted is out of date. And it's, like, gone a bit strange. Devoted is my favourite shade out of all of them. Um, oh, but this one's so nice. This is, like, a lovely dark pink color maybe i should keep this one because it's different than the others like risky business looks a bit like every other blush you could get and i think that is pretty similar to one other one and then devoted was my first blush i just want to keep all three of them because they are all different i think i should just i think i'll get rid of devoted and keep the others because I just don't, I don't have the others in a blush. Oh god, it's gone up on my arm. Ugh, it's gone all up my arm. Um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of Devoted. And keep the other two. Because they're, they are, they're different than the others I have. Like, I'll put it that way. They are different than the others. They're all different. <laughs> they're all different, alright. Uh, we have Melt Stargazer Highlighter. I love it. It's my one of my favourites. The same with, and I know we don't support Ofra anymore, the Ofra Steph Tom's collab, Milk and Cookies, is one of my favourite highlighters, and I'll use it until it's gone, or I'll use it until I don't want it anymore. <laughs> I love it, it's so good. Um, Becca Moonstone, we also keep. Why do we keep? Oh yeah, because she's pretty, that's why we keep. Duh. Uh, oh, this blush from MUA is so nice. Uh, it's the MUA blushed matte blush powder in the shade Misty Rose. It's so nice. Two or three pounds. Like, you can't go wrong for a matte blush. Tower 28 Rush Hour. Beach Please Rush Hour. Lovely. Keeping. It's very messy. Jesus Christ. 
Why is there an eyeshadow palette in here? I got this Charlotte Tilbury Exagger Eyes, which I don't use, and we're gonna declutter it. I got this in like the Cult Beauty advent calendar. It's pretty, but like I just don't, I don't use things like this. I've got a couple of liquid highlighters. Uh, oh God, we got the one from Pay, which is the Impossible Glow highlighting drops. Looks like a nice shade. Oh, is lovely. Mm. It doesn't look like a whole lot. Like it looks like something you'd put under your foundation. So I'll keep it, and I might move it to my foundation drawer or my primer drawer. My camera's about to like say I've talked too much. I told you. Then we have the Row Glow Skin Stick in the shade Glaze. I got both of these from the either Cult Beauty Advent Calendar or a Cult Beauty bag or something. This looks like something I wouldn't use as well. Like, I don't know, maybe I'll keep it and I'll see if I use it, but it doesn't need to be in the box. The box can go, like, I don't need the box. I need to just learn my lesson with like liquid highlighters as well. I don't buy them, I just gather them. Um, but I do have a Vive one um in like a mini form which can go in here um and then i also have a primer from them which i'll put all these away soon but i'll put all these away at the end together with you uh clinique oh this doesn't get used or it does but i'm never getting rid of this clinique cheek pop highlighter in gold celebration pop it's got a cow on it it's got a little cow this was for their like new year's one year and i just I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want to use it. It's such a nice highlighter. But like if I use it, it ruins it. So we're keeping it and not using it. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Cheek to Cheek in the shape Pillow Talk. I don't use this. I just don't use this. I just don't use it. Alright. I just don't. <laughs> I just don't. Right, let's do this little one. We have got KVD Everlasting, oh, refillable blush in the shade Fox Glove. Um, cool Tone Pink, lovely, keeping that. Uh, we've got, oh, the Primark True Peach Blush. This is actually really nice, it's only one pound. It's such a pretty shade, and we are actually going to keep this. It's such a nice shade. I have a couple of benefit minis. I've got Peach in, which I actually don't use. And then we have Moon. Stunning, but we just don't use. And then we have Elf Putty Blush in the shade Maldives. I got that for that nice red berry shade for autumn. Um, so we're going to keep that for now. Uh... Oh, that's actually broken at the back. That's good. It's great. This was the hourglass blush that I got from Depop that came with that brush that I don't use. Um, this is the ambient lighting blush in the shame sub shade Sublime Flush. I have this in the lighting edit ghost, and I loved it so much that I got a big one. It's such a pretty like pink. It's kind of like that baby pink that everyone's liking at the moment. Um like a cool tone pink um i really like it um it's it looks really nice on me this one um i got it yeah i got the full size uh, dropped it patrick tar double take cream and powder blush in do we know her so it's got a cream and a powder why is that like gone weird why did the powder go weird there we go i think i sprayed something on it but gorgeous works together work not together um i need to pull this in um to my actual my stash a bit more it's so pretty i just forget i just forget uh we got a couple of the blushes we have the shade pesca and the shade cherub this is the shade pesca it's a lovely like orangey kind of color um do i use it anymore though not really i use this one which is cherub 
a lot more so you've got pesca and cherub i might keep them still i might still use pesca at some point who knows um but now this i have said before and i've shot my stash if i don't pull this in and i don't use it this is getting i'm getting rid of this this is the mel buzzkill blush duo it's the digital there uh, digital dust duo blush that's a mouthful very pretty but it just i just don't use things like this it's just not my favorite i don't really like shimmery blushes that much and it's going to be moving on to my be perfect scorched in the shade melt this one is a luminous blush it's very pretty and i will be keeping this one the other one was just pure shimmer this one's actually pretty shame it's bulky okay and again kiko unexpected paradise highlighter in the shade light of venus it smells like coconut this is stunning i love this <sighs> like i want to keep this so bad like it's so pretty i'm gonna keep it for now but if i find the if i find the new collection and i purchase a new collection at some point i will have to get rid of that one and just forfeit them, all right skin glazing by nabla in the shade ozone is one of my favorite highlighters i love this so much it's so pretty we have our primark pearl glow do i actually like this feels like a really hard formula <gasps> oh pretty though keeping um these two not going anywhere animal crossing blushes i have the shade flower tender and the shade flower power this one's more matte this one's more shimmery i keep them both they're collector's items sorry um, i do use them though occasionally so Anastasia Beverly Hills Iced Out Highlighter. We are keeping this. It's gorgeous. Uh, California by Benefit. Keeping. Gorgeous. Um, Clinique Cheap Pop in the shade Peach Pop. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, that's so nice. I bought this at the same time as the cow highlighter. I do like this a lot. I just forget to pull it into my shop, my stash. And then we've got number seven matte powder blusher in the shade peaches i love that too and then we've got a couple of revolution ones we have got revolution internal glow this is humongous but it's so pretty revolution blusher reloaded in peach bliss so pretty oh my god i got too many peach blushes now holy fuck why have i got too many blushes that are the shade the same shade zoe what's wrong with you I'm sorry, but I've just noticed MUA number seven revolution. <laughs> like these two are the same freaking shade. This one's slightly different, but what the hell's wrong with me? Oh, you know what though? I actually prefer MUA in this argument. I prefer MUA's formula. Sorry. I, I'm going to get rid of number seven. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we'll keep the others though. But they're all like the same shade. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, we have Revolution Highlighter Reloaded Golden Lights. We're going to keep this for now. We have the Roxy Blush Palette. Again, keep it. I just might put it in the back. Maybe. With, I don't know. And then we have the super dewy liquid blush i didn't like this too much i'm gonna try it again if i don't like it the next time i try it like with another foundation i'm gonna really just get rid of it now we need to organize this oh fuck this ain't gonna be fun i'm not gonna lie All that. i think i did it we managed to get apart from one highlighter all the blushes in the bigger thing all the highlighters in the other and my made by mitchell and sheen ones in the in the front the only one that didn't the only highlighter that didn't fit in with the little row thing is my ofra one because it just wouldn't actually fit <laughs> so the rest of it is fine we're all good like it's much neater now and now we can move on to lips 
This is gonna not be fun. I don't know what even order I put them all in. Why is that watery? Okay, we'll sort that out. Right. I think I had a system last time. Why have I got an eco tools like sponge? I don't like these. These can go. Wait, I think I had a system. I think I had like my more used lipsticks in here and like lip glosses and stuff. And then I had them like in lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, glosses and pencils and then just random shit. But I don't know what the fuck. Uh, right. This is just going to be a massive swatch fest. <sighs> right, my every, not my everyday, but like my more used lipsticks are in here. Um, that can, that hasn't, I haven't really worn lipstick. I'm not going to lie. But if you're wondering what was in there, we have Beauty Bakery in I Like to Chai Chai. That can stay. I love that. Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. I've had this for too many years now. This can be thrown. Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk and Charlotte Tilbury in Walk of No Shame. I do like both of these. They're, we've got Walk of No Shame, which is this lovely colour. And then Pillow Talk, which we all know what Pillow Talk looks like. They can stay as they are. Like, I do like them. We have Maybelline in the shade Driver. I love that lipstick a lot. We have Revlon... Um, shine in sparkling honey this is such a nice moisturizing lipstick like i forget i have these vive 90s such a gorgeous shade gorgeous color huda beauty oh this is the cream lipstick that i chucked in here earlier that can actually stay in there uh, then we've got fenty glass slipper fenty honey waffles and milani teas which is actually such a nice shade they could all stay in there. They're fine in there. It's the other ones. Okay, so I put this one in there, yes, um, on last night's video. Made by Mitchell Blush. I'll keep it for now and see if I use it. I don't think so. Got a uh, Revolution Cream Lipstick in Vow. That can go in the Liquid Lipsticks one. And so can the KVD. Okay, right. In the lipsticks, that's a lip gloss. In the lipstick section, we have Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker in Cinnamon. Oh, I don't. This is where I'm just gonna be like pulling lipsticks and just chucking them. I'm chucking that. I don't use it anymore. MUA Sincere. No, no, thank you. Mac Ruby Woo. That's not my kind of red. I'm not gonna lie. I'll keep it just in case I want it for Christmas, all right? Uh, Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin Actual like, Lipstick. Mm. Mm. It can stay for now. Soph Revolution in the shade Syrup. Love it. They don't do it anymore. Uh, Glossier um, like Sheer Lipstick in the shade Leo. I actually do like this for like a sheer thing. Um, Doll Beauty Get Lippy. That can stay. MUA Obsession. Oh, Not my kind of like lipstick shade, like formula. Like not, not my kind of shade for a lipstick rather than a liquid lipstick. Uh, we've got a few Colourpop um, lippy sticks. I know for a fact I don't use these anymore. And then my two other Huda Beauty. Board meeting and anniversary. So we've got anniversary beautiful and board meeting anniversary and board meeting they look really similar i like board meeting more i think but i love this formula so i'm gonna keep both this is where i just said this it's gonna be a swatch fest. so they can stay that's fine these ones can all stay like I just got rid of a few and then I'm gonna put my new I Heart Evolution um chocolate fudge lipstick in there because I recently got that and I just I, I enjoy it. Uh right, liquid lipstick time and like creams. This looks like it's gone off. This is the um Fenty Underdog. No thanks. 
Revolution Cream and Vow I haven't tried yet. Uh, Huda Beauty in Flirt. Surprised this is still going. It's still got stuff in it. That's a lip liner. Uh, NYX Lingerie XXL in Undressed. Ooh, pretty. My camera just... just oh. My camera decides to stop filming again, so... Uh, Jeffree Star Unicorn Blood is actually one of my favourite um reds but this is definitely gone now that is definitely dead like it just looks very chunky uh amazonian by maybelline keep that or oh, coven um avoid this is a um what's the word kill star lipstick it's a black it's really nice i don't wear black that often anymore but fucking hell and i also have weirdo by jeffree star this should probably go as well that can go that's that that's a bit that's not as black as coven i need a new lip thing a new um a new makeup wipe oh blimey Going through makeup wipes today like nobody's freaking business. Okay, right. These two by Fenty as well can go. We have the shade Uncensored and the shade Unbutton. They both look dead. <laughs> then we have, oh, KVD Bow and Arrow. I love this one. I just haven't worn it in a Oh! Oh, that is going in my um, more used lipstick pile. That can that's definitely one that i would use and then we've got this one which is actually a little mini this is the kvd everlasting lipstick in the shape queen of poisons this is their new formula this one is the old one um i'm gonna keep it still though because it's it's still going uh, and then the made by mitchell um blend and snatch blush can go in there i'll see if i use it but i don't know so i mean i don't wear liquid lipsticks anymore but we got that down and then we have lip glosses and some lip liners. This is where I will say I don't wear either. <laughs> I don't. Um, I don't wear lip liner and I don't wear lip gloss. Um, we will, of course, be keeping my Animal Crossing ones. They can actually go in my lipsticks because they're like creams. Um, I might use them, I might not. I got a mini Fenty Glow lip gloss that can stay. Uh, that's a lip liner. Um, Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme can go. The Rachel Lip Gloss from the Friends Collection can go. I, I have Fenty's Clear one. Um, NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Butterscotch can stay. Uh, this this quad can go from Primark. I don't use it like, ever. Uh, collection Gloss Me Up. I don't like how it plumps. Because I don't like plumping lip glosses. This gloss from Beauty Bay in the shape Mocha can actually stay. This I Heart Revolution chocolate lip gloss can stay. It's in the shade Honeycomb. The Zero gloss from Nightmare Before Christmas can stay. The Revolution one, that can, that can stay. Tower 28 um, in the shade Almond actually should go in my more used one. I love that. Actually, let's move that lipstick out and put these ones in. Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Stone. That can stay. And the NYX This Is Milky Gloss Cookies and Milk can stay. Lip liners. We have. A, we need to have a word, mate. <laughs> I don't use lip liner. Um, this one from MUA. Oh, it's like a normal pencil formula. I don't like that. Uh, I've got quite a few colour pops. Quite a few is an understatement. Have I still got my BFF one? That's the one I used to use. <gasps> BFF is the one I used to use all the time. Oh, I used this to death. It's actually dead now. Fuck. <laughs> um, uh, little one. No thanks. Uh, cool BFF. N no thanks. So happy. No thanks. <laughs> Ashton. 
literally just got rid of all my colourful ones because they look the fucking same. Um, right. Uh, you, your one that's a coloured one, not just a nude one. The Revlon Colour Stay in the shade Plum. I think I like this with like a red. Yeah, that can stay. That's fine. NYX Suede in London. Sorry, you're gone. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I mean, I have the Pillow Talk lipstick, so I guess I'll keep this. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury, a mini of Walk of No Shame. I'll keep that. Uh, NYX Slide On Glide On in the shade Sugar Glass. I think I like this. Nah, we're good. <laughs> uh, a dupe of the Primark one. Um, a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury one, but the Primark version. Nah, that's a bit more pinky. Primark one in Toffee. I think I like this. Yep, that can stay. And um, Primark in the shade Spice. Nah, that can go. So I'm keeping what? Four lip liners. I don't use lip liner at all, ever. So, I mean, that got that down. That was easy. That was easier than I thought doing my lipsticks. I'll just put all these away. I also have a lip oil from... Um, Revolution, it's the High Heart Revolution Honey one. This is gonna stay. This is also going in my makeup bag, not my makeup bag, my bag for work. There we go. Right, I'm gonna put this drawer back and then we're gonna put the other bits away um, that I have. Okay, now I need to put these little bits away. So we've got a foundation, actually, we've got a primer and we've got an eyeshadow primer. Um, from W7, we'll, we'll give that a go. And the Vive Skin Nova Instant Radiance Primer, a 10ml. That can stay, I like that. And then we have a foundation. We have the number seven Beautifully Matte um, All Day Shine Control SPF 15. I need to try this in a video, I think. <laughs> I tried the original formula in a video, so that can be a video another day. And then I have a blush and a highlight. Um, oh god, no, don't tell me that something's stuck. Um, we've got the Benna Tint Love, the Love Tint from Benefit. That can go in here. Um, and then the Vive Skin Dew, which I really enjoy. So. Oh, sorry, Primark One, you've been... A, it was ejected. Oh, that's funny. I think it is too big to fit, so we'll just have to lay it down. But there we go, because I don't like... I don't think... Well, I won't use this. And I, I hated this. And I don't use a red, so those are the rest of it. So that was it. Look at how, how much we're getting rid of. That's so much... But yeah, that is me decluttering. That is me decluttering my makeup collection. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I actually have a, um, let me sit back down. I actually have, oh, my camera battery is flashing, so I better make this quick. I actually have the rest of the bits under my bed to do. Um, so, oh God. I have the extras box to go through so we can go through that together um and my makeup brushes we need to go through as well so that can be a whole other video um and then we can go through the bottom drawers of my drawers but yeah until then i will see you guys in the next video i think the videos that are around this video that's going up are all like my favorites and shot my stashes again and um things like that I think and my empties so I don't know when that video will be but I'll be filming it in like the next couple of weeks I think so stay tuned for that <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video so bye guys